Hi everybody and welcome back to Plastic Models by Regular Dude and intro to my next project the Tamiya F16 CJ Block 50 Fighting Falcon. So first of all I want to offer up thanks once again to Eric Davenport who is the kind person that supplied me with this kit along with some others. Thanks a lot Eric if you're watching this I really appreciate it and uh, hope you enjoy the build. So first I want to talk about what my plan is. Here is what I'm going to do. Um, as far as the build goes, I am not going to do a step-by-step -step build. I'm going to do kind of an update periodically. So, you know, when I do some uh, steps, I'll uh, do a quick recap on each step and uh, talk a little bit about how it went, if I made any changes or anything like that. That will kind of help keep the running time a little bit shorter than normal actually quite a bit shorter than normal um, but yeah hopefully give decent information for anybody who might be watching this that is going to build this kit so first I want to talk about the uh, marking scheme I'm gonna go with and that is C on these uh, instruction or this marking guide here which is a 79th fighter squadron leader 20th fighter wing tiger meat version Buckley Air Force Base Colorado USA August 2001 um, the tiger meat version is really cool very colorful um, I really like the markings so that's pretty much the reason I went with it is the color of the markings I think it'll be a lot of fun um, so that will take care of what I'm going to be doing as far as the markings go uh, so let's take a look I'm not going to go looking at all the parts and all that kind of stuff because we'll see those as we progress so what I want to do is I want to talk about the extras that I got um, to kind of improve on some of the kit details first of all I got the Edward mask set for this kit it comes with masks for the canopy the windscreen and the um, wheels slash tires uh, I've used the Edward mask before they work really well so foresee no problems there next I got the um, aces 2 ejection seat by Aries or Arius however it's pronounced I don't know I'm just gonna call it Aries uh, it's a very nice ejection seat we'll look at it in more detail uh, when it comes time to install it I'll compare it to the kit parts so you can kind of see why I went with it um, with the extra detail and such uh, it comes with a resin seat and it comes with a, fall, a small photo etch um, fret that has like looks like uh, photo etch seat belts and then other small parts. Next up is the exhaust nozzle. Same thing, Aries. Um, in comparison to the kit parts, these are much more detailed. They look really good and uh, again once I get to those parts in the kit I will uh, make some comparisons we'll look at them see what the differences are and if they truly are better than the kit parts the last thing I got for this kit it's kind of out of the ordinary is this ammo by MIG US Air Force colors gray modern jets now I know my regular viewers are probably having a cow right now because I normally use Tamiya. But because of the fumes, even using X28 thinner, I decided I need to try something water-based to cut down on the fumes. Um, I wear a respirator when I use my paints, but, you know, the family doesn't really complain about smell or odor or anything, but it does drift around and I just, uh, I don't want to submit them to it. I find that if I don't wear a respirator, it kind of agitates my, uh, my respiratory system using the Tamiya paints um, so I wanted to give these a try now I'll, I'll keep using Tamiya paints at least till I use up what I've got but I really wanted to try something water-based and I think these will work well um, videos I've seen things I've read out of the water-based acrylics these seem to be the ones that might work the best for me Vallejo model air I, I can't do those uh, but apparently these are quite a bit different, so I'm going to give them a shot, practice a little bit on my uh, FW190 paint mule, and see how they work, and then uh, give them a shot on the kit. So 
that's something else that I'm doing a little bit different with this kit. So if any of you have used these paints and you have any um, anything to say about them, good or bad, pros or cons, uh, tips, anything like that, please put them in the comments section down below. Uh, if you can point me to a video about them or anything that you know about or an article um, that might help me out, I would appreciate it if you'd put that in the comments below. So that's the paint I'm going to use. And that, my friends, is that. That's the plan. That's the kit. So thanks for joining me here for the intro to the F-16CJ Fighting Falcon and 148 scale by Tamiya. I hope you'll stick around and uh, watch the upcoming updates uh, as I progress through it. And as always, leave me any hints, tips, concerns, pointers, anything like that. Put them in the comments section down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can or just absorb it into my uh, memory bank for usage in building this kit. So, as always, thanks for watching Plastic Models by a Regular Dude, and I will see you all later.